516 on a Monday now to an ABC 15 follow up one year later. I'm sitting down with Phoenix Council Member Kevin Robinson now in his first year in office. I'm asking the questions. What did he accomplish? What challenges are still out there and what are his hopes for his remaining three years? You know, a few years ago, if you told me I'd be a city council member sitting here talking to you about my first year, I would have thought you were crazy. From patrolling the streets to City Hall. It may not seem like a common path, but Kevin Robinson says his 36 years serving on the Phoenix Police Department have served him well. I like to mold a consensus. I don't want to go there with a preconceived idea. This week marks one year in office for Robinson. What would you say some of your biggest challenges were in this first year? You know, that's hard to say because there have been a lot of challenges. The, the biggest one wasn't necessarily a District 6 centered issue. It was more of a city centered issue. And that's been the issue with homelessness. Specifically, the cleanup of the zone near the Human Services Campus in downtown Phoenix. A judge last year ruled all the tents and people needed to go. Hundreds accepting services in the process. Although outside his district, Robinson says it took the entire city to tackle. We were facing some significant court issues with that. And collectively, the mayor, the city council, as well as the city manager's office, and a lot of city departments, if not all the city departments, truly came together and were able to solve what was a very critical problem that, you know, had far reaching implications, you know, throughout the city. Do you think the city is doing all it can to tackle the homeless issue? I'm on the inside and I can say without a doubt, without a hesitation, most definitely. But many would argue that the homeless issue is still a, a major problem in our city. So how is your office going to continue to try to tackle that? Well, one of the things that we are doing specifically in my office, as we get developers coming to us with ideas, we, we stress the need for affordable and workforce housing. So that's that's at the top of the list. That's something we are able to do. Which Robinson says may also help working families. We have to look for ways to incentivize developers and builders so that they are either can bring down the cost of those um, houses, and if that's not possible, at least to give incentives to people who qualify and want to move into those houses. And with more big businesses coming to Phoenix and the state, also comes the added task of making sure the city grows responsibly. How do you weigh all of that out as a city leader? You know, I, it, it's, it's simple. You talk to everybody and you look at all the factors and you make decisions based on the facts. We will continue to attract more and bigger businesses. I think that's a testament to our weather and a host of other things. We need to, as a city, be as receptive as we possibly can, working within the guidelines that are in place, but that way it ensures those higher paying jobs and ensures more opportunities in the community. And yes, we will continue to grow, but it will, we're going to grow smart. So I also asked Council Member Robinson if he would support making interim Phoenix Police Chief Michael Sullivan permanent. He told me that is a city manager decision, not a city council decision, and wouldn't say either way, but did tell me he thinks Phoenix PD is headed in the right direction. The department currently under that DOJ investigation, which started in August of 2021. I talked to Robinson about that as well, specifically about a recent meeting he had in Washington with Department of Justice officials that are overseeing our investigation. So if you missed that in-depth story, a few weeks ago where I asked Robinson about that meeting in Washington. Just head to ABC15.com right now. But of course, he has more than three decades of experience with the Phoenix Police Department. He felt like he could kind of be a bridge between the DOJ and the department to try to see what kind of information he could glean from them. And then bring it to the city, right? I'm glad that you mentioned that because it does give a different sort of context, right? Excellent reporting. Appreciate that. Yeah, as we await this DOJ yeah. report that we're staying on top of as well.